thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report special. There is no financial collapse. There is no collapse of the financial system. As I indicated in the introduction video, I told you that we were going to go through this step by step. I just want to point out some things that many people have not been made aware of and never even thought to even consider. So that's what we're going to do. This is my attempt to walk you through some things to kind of shed some light on what's going down. Right now the first chart that you're looking at is a chart of the M&E S&P 500 futures contract. You're looking at the year 2001. Specifically, I want to draw your attention to September the 11th, 2001. And I want to show you some interesting things here. The first thing I'm going to set out to demonstrate by way of evidence that there is no collapse is because it's already happened is this exhibit A. This S&P chart of 2001 specifically during 9-11. The reason why there is no economic collapse is because it's already happened. The economic collapse happened on September the 11th 2001. The economic crisis, the economic collapse Everyone's talking about the dollar becoming worthless, the dollar crashing. All of this has already happened. They're waiting for some unforeseen event that is never going to come because it's already happened. You missed it. You weren't paying attention. This bar right here represents the week prior to 9-11. That's this bar right here. Okay? On the day of 9-11 something very incredible happened. The US financial system collapsed. It collapsed on September the 11th, 2001. The reason why you won't be able to do any research on this topic in the way that I'm going to present it is because the only way to have seen it was to be an eyewitness to the event. While everybody else was paying attention to the buildings falling down, everyone missed what was right in front of their face. And that was this right here. The entire financial system of the US economy went belly up. I was there. I know what I saw. All right. This is during my Wall Street days. The futures markets, as you know, trade before the 930 opening bells. Okay? This event happened prior to the opening bell. When the first um, alert that one of the buildings was on fire, that happened before the 930 opening bell. Okay? As far as the second quote-unquote plane allegedly hitting this the uh, the tower the second tower again prior to the 930 opening bell then what happened well back in in these days and some of this information is going to overlap because I'm trying to, to lay this out for you prior to what we have today the market that you have today did not exist then. In 2001, the 2001 market was different than today's market. All right? Very different. Night and day different. The world was in a process of changing when this happened. Now, notice something in this chart. 
I'm going to stop, pause for a minute. Notice something in this chart. What does it say right here? Those of you who have been following the Volcker Report for the last couple of years, you know that um, when I pull these charts up from the system that I designed and built, I have this at the bottom letting you know the, over, the, 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 the major trend in the market. Well, what does this one say? This says bear market. We were already in a bear market prior to the September 11 attack. Hence the little red bear, little, little, the little grizzly bear in the bottom right hand corner. You guys remember my little bear. I put the bear in the corner there or the bull in the corner. He's green. In this case, it's red. We have a red bear, red coloring bear market. You can see with the naked eye the downtrend. Okay, downtrend, downtrend. The market was already headed toward this trajectory before this happened. Something else to make note of during the month of September of 2001, almost moments, if you want to break it down, to the 9-11 attack, we had the announcement the day before that there was trillions of dollars missing from the Pentagon budget, per se. Well, I don't know about you, but if a trillion dollars is missing, that's enough to bring to break the bank, wouldn't you say? And then the next day or the next moment in time, we have 9-11. Isn't it interesting that everything prior to 9-11 that was under investigation leading up to 9-11 was also targeted on 9-11. The Pentagon was hit right in the nerve center where the investigations and things were going taking place looking at the finances of the Pentagon everything's gone now the t Twin Towers that housed a lot of things such as different government agencies as well as large financial institutions Wall Street firms gone disappeared evidence gone disappeared very interesting, isn't it? There's a reason for it. From this bar going back, all right, from this bar here going all the way back represents, are you ready for this? The end of the old economy. The new economy starts here. The week after they reopened the market after 9-11. This is your starting point for everything right here. New market, new everything. Again, old market, old economy, new market, new economy. As we go on, you're going to see why I say this. Okay. Some of you that are listening to this video are going to be too young to remember a lot of the information that's going to be put here in this video. But just bear with me and walk with me down this memory lane. Some of you, all you know is this new world. So let me tell you about how the old world operated. From this bar going back, all right, you didn't have online trading like you have it now everything was done the old school way if you wanted to trade in the market you had to pick up a phone and call a broker you had to have a brokerage account with said broker you would call him and you would say hey I need to place a trade in such and such buy me whatever shares of this stock or that stock uh, Mr. Commodities Broker, go ahead and buy me one uh, one Novi Bean at uh, whatever the price was back then. I'm gonna say it's probably around four dollars a bushel. So buy me buy me one Novi at, uh, at four. Put a stop at uh, three fifty. That's how you would do it. Or you say, Mr. Commodities Broker, buy me one Christmas cotton at uh, sixty and a quarter and. Uh, don't worry about a stop because you have such a large account. 
you could do that too. All right, for those of you who don't, don't know the terminology, NOVI is short for the November contract. Christmas is the acronym used for the um, December contracts in, in futures, okay? So that's how you would say it. That's how you would do it, okay? And you needed a phone to do this. You had a phone line. Uh, they were, you know, they were really old school ways of doing things. Everybody didn't have, didn't really have a cell phone back then. Cell phones was new technology. All right, the traditional uh, cell phones that really came out back in the '80s were humongous. Uh, they were like briefcases, okay. <laughs> and some of them actually came in a little briefcase that you carry with you if you wanted to, to use that cell phone. They were humongous. Nothing like what we have today. So that's how you traded back then. There was really no online. Online. The revolution for online actually started here, and we're gonna get into that old economy new economy all right this here did not represent what people thought it represented this technically was the end of the industrial age this here is the beginning of the information age I'm going to show you what I mean by that in just a second okay so we're in the downtrend market old economy 9-11 happens and then here we are here are some events that happened on 9-11 that you probably won't be able to find anywhere else or see anywhere else. Are you ready? I'm going to run them down quickly. The first thing that happened was the U.S. dollar went to zero. It literally went to zero. It's gone. It went to zero. Gold and silver became pri uh, priceless on the charts. The prices literally went off of the charts on the screen. You couldn't price it. Uh, the foreign exchange to the dollar was ridiculous. Uh, I saw one quote for British Crown was like 10,000 to one. On the on the dollar, it was ridiculous. All right, so we went to zero. We were we were done. We were bankrupt. We were destroyed. Uh, precious metals were priceless, and that's when they turned the machines off and said, "Okay, close the markets. We have to close the markets." Let me explain to you what that meant. All right. When Ballhead Slim came on TV at the New York Stock Exchange and said, close the markets, all right, the head of the NYSE said, Clo we're closing the markets. The U.S. markets closed and shut down in unison. That means all Forex trading, commodity futures trading, and equity trading and bond trading stopped simultaneously done kaput now here is the amazing thing that happened following that okay all trades okay approximately a trillion dollars that day went up in smoke every trade that was put on Prior to him coming on to the podium and saying, shut down the markets, was erased, eradicated as if it never existed. You can't to this day even buy historical prices uh, for 9-11. You can buy historical prices going back to the 1800s. In some cases, even the 1700s. For just about every market on the planet, including uh, soybeans, corn, wheat. But you will not get a, uh, a price quote for 9-11. For nothing, anything. It does not exist. Those prices were removed, eradicated. All trades busted. That means they never happened. It did not exist. All right? All sins forgiven. You know what another word for that is? Reset. We already had a global reset. It was 9-11. Everything reset on 9-11. So 9-11 didn't happen. Hence the skippage. The skippage. Here's this. Here's this bar. We stop here. This bar here in the middle is gone. Here we are. All right. Everything reset on 9-11 because the U.S. economy went to zero. It was bankrupted. It was destroyed. The old economy here was wiped out, eradicated, destroyed. Now, the only thing left to do after that 
was to make it official. How do you make it official? Are you ready for this? You erase everything going back to 1997. Right here. So the week that they... It took them a week to close out everything and boot up the new system. And when they did that, they erased everything prior. All games made, everything gone. The go-go 90s, gone. This low represented the end of everything else, wiping out, erasing everything else, and starting anew. All right? Now, the next chart you're going to see is going to demonstrate what I just showed you in this chart. People like to say that the tech bubble bursted in 2000. I'm going to demonstrate to you that the tech bu bubble did not blow up in 2000. What blew up was this, the old economy. Check, just bear with me. Walk with me for a minute. Check, peep this, peep this. All right, Exhibit B. Same year, NASDAQ bubble, okay? This here is the NASDAQ chart, all right? It was also already in a downtrend. It was in a bear market. Notice the difference, though. This chart is well under the Kumo cloud, and it's been down there for a while now, right? Go back one. This one's under the Kumo cloud, too, but not like the NASDAQ was. So, if the NASDAQ bubble truly did pop, how do you explain this low made after, the, after they reopened the markets, which uh, showed the bottom? This right here is the bottom. And I'm going to show you that this bottom right here definitely marked the end. And never look, we bounce from here and never look back. Never looked back. And to this day now, where is the NASDAQ? Right where it quote unquote left it off, left off in 2000. What? What do you mean? How is that possible? I'm going to show you. Let's go back one though. Just wanted to bring this up to you. Peep this. Here we go back to the 9-11 chart. Again, everything was, was broke and bankrupt. They had to bust the trades out as if they never existed. They said it never happened. 9-11 did not happen. We just went from one day, September the 10th, and skipped to September the 15th. All those days in between didn't happen. All right? We basically stopped time and erased all trades, all financial dealings on 9-11, eradicated. And then... We booted up the new system. Now, the next slide and the next um, next video, we're going. I'm going to demonstrate and talk to you and show you how the what the old system looked like and how it operated, so you can get an idea of the birth of this new system versus the old system. And I think you're going to be uh, blowing off your feet even more. So, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for part two. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report special. There is no financial collapse. There is no collapse of the financial system. As I indicated in the introduction video, I told you that we were going to go through this step by step. I just want to point out some things that many people have not been made aware of and never even thought to even consider so that's what we're going to do this is my attempt to walk you through some things to kind of shed some light on what's going down already happened you missed it you weren't paying attention this bar right here represents the week prior to 9-11 that's this bar right here okay on the day of 9-11, something very incredible happened. The U.S. financial system 
collapsed. It collapsed on September the 11th, 2001. The reason why you won't be able to do any research on this topic is because it's already happened is this exhibit A. This S&P chart of 2001 specifically during 9-11. The reason why there is no economic collapse is because it's already happened. The economic collapse happened on September the 11th, 2001. The economic crisis, the economic collapse. Everyone's talking about the dollar becoming worthless, the dollar crashing. All of this is all ready happened. They're waiting for some unforeseen event that is never going to come because it's all. Right now the first chart that you're looking at is a chart of the mini S&P 500 futures contract. You're looking at the year 2001. Specifically I want to draw your attention to September the 11th 2001 and I want to show you some interesting things here the first thing I'm going to set out to demonstrate by way of evidence that there is no collapse in the way that I'm going to present it is because the only way to have seen it was to be an eyewitness to the event while everybody else was paying attention to the buildings falling down, everyone missed what was right in front of their face. And that was this right here. The entire financial system of the U.S. economy went belly up. I was there. I know what I saw. All right. This is during my Wall Street days. The futures markets, as you know, trade before the 9.30 opening bells. Okay? 